And I have a chef here with me today for the first time on Wake Up Nigeria. Welcome to Wake Up Nigeria Kitchen. And now he came all the way from Lebanon. He is Chef Mohammed. However, I'm seeing some uziza, some palm oil. Please, Chef Mohammed, can you explain to me what exactly is happening in front of me right now? Good morning, guys. <laughs> My name is Chef Mohammed, as, as we spoke. We are cooking today for you. Fisherman soup. Fisherman soup. Okay. With so, semo. With semo. I was expecting to hear something Leb Lebanese, some wrap or something. So tell me what's happening. Why are we doing this instead so, of that? Mm -hmm. So let's let's be more tradition with some twist. Mm -hmm. You know, Nigerian food is it has many 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 delicious food and fresh ingredients and fresh items. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Why we don't go for it oh. and we uplift it? Oh. So. <laughs> That's very, very interesting. Okay, I see a lot of pepper here too. You like pepper? Pepper. Pepper. It's very good. <laughs> it's very good. Okay, so tell me, what ingredients do we need to bring our fisherman soup to so, life? Let's start with our prawns. Okay. A fish. Mm -hmm. I'm using today barracuda, some crab, mm -hmm. sea snails, azusa leaf, periwinkles, mm -hmm. onion, mm -hmm. maggi, mm -hmm. salt, salt. Uh, cocoa yam. Okay. Uh, red and yellow pepper, you know, I like to use as well yellow pepper because the yellow mm. pepper will give you like more this Flavor. aroma, mm, yes, aroma. this mm, twist, mm. palm oil mm -hmm. and our semo And semo for the side, okay, nice. So now tell me what method, is there a special method you're using or what's the preparatory it has, method for this? Dish? Yes, it has a small twist, okay. you know, I don't like to waste my items so as well I'm using my shrimp and my prawns head mm -hmm. to give this extra aroma inside my soup oh, okay. and we are using cocoa yam as a thickener. Okay. Some people doesn't like to use crab. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's optional that crab. Let's say it's optional. Mm -hmm. It's not mandatory. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, yeah. everything is good. Everything is good. Okay, nice. So now for the soup, what do we start with? What so, do we? How do we cook it? I'm starting in two parallel way. I'm putting my shrimp head on fire, and I'm putting my my fish as well oh, okay. with, this, with the water. Okay. So let it start to boil. To so boil we'll up. have yes. Okay, great. And after that, what goes in next? Uh, after that, the prawns. After that, we will we will put the water, and after we put our uh, crayfish, crayfish, uh, salt, maggi, uh, palm oil, palm oil, okay. and pepper. And pepper. Okay, so we're going to be crushing the pepper and the onions. We're going to be blending the, that later on. Okay, amazing. Now tell me, what was your first um, interaction with Nigerian food? Uh, be, uh, my first meal that I cook, it yeah. was amala. That you ate in Nigeria. As well that I ate. Amala. Was, yes. <laughs> and after I, then, it was like. I, I fell you in love. So, you, fell in, <laughs> you fell in love. I never went back. Amazing. And you've been cooking Nigerian dishes for how long now? Uh, let's say for five years. For five years. Is that how long you've been in Nigeria as yes. well? Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, now I don't think. How many dishes do you see you cook? How many local dishes? Uh, all the dishes. All There's the, no exception. So jollof rice. Yes, jollof rice is a small thing. It's a small thing. Egg pancoku. I like my uh. uh, Many, many, many things. Nice, nice, nice. Amazing. Okay, that's really, really interesting. Okay, so now let's start. Where do we start from? We have to, to so, get going. Yes. Yeah, because our shaman soup needs to be on the way. So we have our pots. So let's start with... Yeah. Okay. Okay, in case you're just joining us, I'm still here with Chef Mohammed. He's literally getting on to making a fisherman soup this morning. We had our ingredients on our screen earlier, and then we will go through that right now um, one more time because we have our, 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 our onion here, we have our, our, our seasoning cubes, our salt, our cookie and so, thickening, we have our pepper, yellow, and red. And so, first of all, guys, yes. <laughs> we are starting with our the prawn head. Prawn head. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no need to throw that away. So everything is yes. going in. You know, yes. all the flavors are inside. So yes. it's very important. It's very important. To extract all the flavor from our ingredients. For the ingredients, okay. Yes. Okay, great. All right. So and just the heads for starters. Yes. Right? And some onions. Some onions for okay. extra flavor. For extra some flavor. water now. Yes. Okay. Okay, how much water do you need? Lots of water, or just a little water. Not too much. Not too much water. Okay. Oh, just but, a little, just yes. for it to simmer. Okay. For it to boil. Mm -hmm. And now, we give it a small stir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we let it. We let it. We let it boil. Let it boil. All yes. right, amazing. Okay, so now we literally have to go on a break. But Chef Mohammed is still here, and we're back in the kitchen in no time at all. So do not touch that down. We'll be right back. Fisherman soup is on pot, is on fire. 
Nice. Let's go to the next step now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so tell me, what's happening now? <clears throat> we have so, the fish on the fire. So now the fish mm -hmm. on the fire. So now it's time to add our onions. Mm -hmm. Okay. What next? Some seasoning cubes. Mm -hmm. Then crayfish. Okay. Okay. Mm. Beautiful crayfish. Lots of crayfish. Uh -huh. A lot of crayfish. Lot. For sure. Now we will put, we will test, and then mm -hmm. if we need to add, we will add again. We'll add, okay. Yes. Okay. You know, the secret of a best chef is mm -hmm. when you test your food one time, two times, up, 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 every step that Every you step of the way you test yes. it. You need to always test, test, <laughs> test always to get the perfect okay. combination and perfect test. Okay. So, now, when you guys were on break, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we blend our prawn head. Prawn head, yes, that actually surprised me. So, you actually blended the prawn head. We blended. With... With some pepper. With some pepper, and I smell that. This is some the yellow, twist. Some... Yes, this yeah. is the twist that I was looking for. So okay. now we use our filter. Okay. To filter it on top of our boiling pot now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. Amazing. Amazing, and a very very nice twist. I definitely tried out, try this method out. And it's true. So now the prawn hair is going to give the extra flavor all going into the soup. hundred percent. Amazing, uh, amazing, amazing. Okay. So mm -hmm. this is our amazing twist. Mm -hmm. So no Secret to this recipe. hundred percent. Mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. we'll it cover back. it back. Mm -hmm. We'll let it boil very well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then our next step will be adding our prawns. Then crab. The crabs and the snails and all of that. And then forward. it's literally about almost ready. 100%. We just wait. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. So, so we're back into the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen. Chef Mohammed, tell me, what part of this, where, what part of the journey are we on now? So my amazing people, now it's time to add our palm oil. Palm oil. Yes. Okay. So we give it a small stir. Mm -hmm. You see how much it thick is original. Yeah, original. <laughs> Original. So I was going to ask Chef, did you go to any culinary school to learn um, Nigerian dishes spe um, specifically? No, actually. How? Instead of going to culinary school, yeah. I go to some grandmas. Wow. They teach really? me in a better way. They teach you in a better way. So, <laughs> so you, know, you, have, you know a lot of Nigerian grandmas. You can say so, yeah. Really? So you have a lot of Nigerian friends? Yes. Maybe you go to a lot uh, of Nigerian parties. And visit parties. too much Owambe, a lot chop of a lot of food. food. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. That's good. So this is how we roll. No, that's how you roll. Okay, uh -huh. how many of Nigerian dances do you know? Let me put you on the spot. Dances? Dances, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I did try you, not no much, I will try. <laughs> You'll try. <laughs> okay. All right, now, so our palm oil is in. All we right. Give it a sm now we should test. Okay, now see. you want to test it? Yes. Okay. Let's see where are we. And next, we'll add our prawns. Okay. Mm. Wow. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing already. Okay, so now our prawns are going so in next. The prawns going in. Okay. Mm. Okay. Frozen. That doesn't take time at all. No. So, yeah, in the meantime, we'll have our water on the fire boiling. So our um, uh, semo is we also getting start. ready yes. to be made. Yes, and you need a turn stick for that one. The turn mm. stick for So our semo. grandma's also taught you to turn our Nigerian food. Uh -huh. Anna, okay. All right, so let's you... see. I want to watch this particular part. <laughs> so the water is ready. Do you need help with that? Yes. Okay. You can start pouring your semo. I can pour. Is that okay? A little bit more. Should add more? A little bit. Enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's coming together. It's coming together. Nicely. Nicely and nicely so. <laughs> it should be smooth and nice cook. Yeah. So definitely, Nigerian food is not something that is not only something you enjoy. You also enjoy Nigerian fashion because most of your videos you actually dress up with whole agbada and everything. You know, that, yes, it's a culture. It's a full. It's a full story. It's, it's full not story. only about you know cooking, cooking, cooking. We cook. Yes, mm -hmm. we enjoy our meal. You know, like because the chef is an artist at the end of his day. Very true. You know, 
I don't sing, or, like chef doesn't sing, or, yeah. but he make you make use the five cents of your own. So <laughs> before the food it has been served, you, do, you already smell it. You already smell it, true, true, true. And then mm -hmm. you see it, you see it. the second yes. sense. Yes. Then you test, mm -hmm. you use your tongue. Yeah. Then the texture. You feel then it. Then you hear how you chew <laughs> your food. So it's a journey. Everything is a it's total a journey. journey. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, we have still so much to come right here, but don't forget, we're going to have a very interesting conversation with Chef Mohammed still on the couch before the show is over. So make sure you stick around. <laughs> amazing chef in the house. Hey, my people, my people. Ooh, Feels so good to be sat on this chair. Give us the answer to your favorite Nigerian artist. My favorite Nigerian artist uh, between Davido and Weezy uh -uh. is... You are 30 BG <laughs> and MC at the same time. Why <laughs> How can one person be 30 BG and MC? Yeah, huh? very, very confusing. <laughs> very confusing. <laughs> nice. Well, our meal is here. Oh, and Chef Mohamed did us this honors of making semo with fisherman soup. Now, it's not amalan egg. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're just going to... Ooh! It is time. Tell us exactly what you think. It's oh amazing. yes, thank you very much. It's amazing. I'm I'm gonna save this one for after. But I'm looking forward to what's on the inside. What are these? Oh, advice to start from the top. Oh, start from see the top. that crab. It's, it's a special advice. It's, let me start from the top then. Start okay, the fantastic. Top. I'll take the smaller one first. <laughs> after dipping it so, in. So Mike, some. you don't eat all these things here. Like this. You don't the, not the prawns. Is the, the snail the sperm? All right, guys. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> keep wow. talking, guys. Keep talking, guys. Mm. Mm. Wow, you're saving my no water. Mm. <laughs> this, this was not cooked by a Nigerian, but I dare say, it tastes even better. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so Chef much. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. You done did it.